Good morning, everybody. We are out here in beautiful Stewart, Florida today, deep sea fishing. It is like the most perfect day ever. And we finally <laughs> have a nice day out here after a lot of days of rain and wind and nasty weather. And it's flat calm. It's like a lake. It's like a swimming pool out here, literally. <laughs> it's beautiful. So yes. you know, typically when it's that flat, you want to run and gun. So we're going to run out until we see some good water or weed lines or a break to try and do some mahi trolling and dolphin fishing. And then uh, do that for a couple hours. Yep, and we just caught bait. So we got bait to drift the bottom or just drift the top and see what we can get into. Right, fish. we got some live bait that's a great option at the uh, pool shark. Yeah. And then we'll do some drifting and bottom fishing and wreck fishing after that. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. Time to get out there. All right, let's go, Sizzle. She gets so anxious. To be you. <laughs> East wind has been pushing them in. I got baits out. Yeah. I know. You got any on top? Those fish are about 20 feet deep and they were nice. This one's on top. Okay. This one, this one could be lower. And where's your, where's your rod? We got a pitch rod for a big fish. Oh, okay, I see them. They're coming up on the surface behind us. Push on on the left, on the yep. right. Is that a keeper? It's gonna be close. Let's see if he's got any big ones with him. Leave him in for a minute. So you get a dolphin, you leave him in for a minute. Yeah, he's a little guy. See what happens. He might be a keeper. Yeah. Oh, he's got a big one with him. There's a bunch of them under the boat right now. Ten. Oh, I got a bunch of mahi around. Zillions of them around. Jeez, oh, fish! <laughs> nice one's right, right there. there. That's a nice one right there. They're not eating the baits down deep, though. Get another one out, get another one out. They're staying with the flip, flippy floppy. Nice fish. Right, there's that one fish. There's a nice fish. The keeper. We got another schooling. Woo! Nice. It is summertime and the mahi bites on fire. We got surrounded by a school of like 20 fish. And they're all your average, you know, size mahi. No complaints. They all taste exactly the same. This one's really pretty with blue tips. Jeez. Jeez, I'm wrapped. <laughs> Nice. Good job. <laughs> Woo! Crushing the dolphin right away, first thing in the morning. That's what I like. Now we gotta find some big boys, and I know they're here. It's the time of the year. What I'm doing now is we are drifting, and we are on a really nice weed line with a ton of bait and a ton of action, and I'm using my four-inch bait breaker knife to cut the bait here on the boat, just getting it way for thin. We're gonna toss that out and attract fish to the boat. We tried to troll earlier on this nice weed line, but there was a ton of scatter weed around it. it. Makes it very difficult to troll. That's when all your lines get tangled with weed. And so we decided that was a little bit much of an aggravation. So now we're just sitting here, we're drifting. We got three baits out. We got our flippy floppy out. And as soon as we put that flippy floppy out, we had multiple dolphin at the boat. We caught two keepers and they moved on. Now we're just waiting for the next set of fish to roll on through. We got a flat line, right? Yeah. Oh, I just got bit. Nice, let's get him. Wow, that was just like pounced on. So first bite, that was a solid bite. I gotta Hopefully it's a keeper. Rest up. Hopefully it is. We'll see. Nice fish out far. That looks like a keeper. It's gonna be it close. Looks close. Cool. All right, so first fish in the boat since we caught those two mahi mahi. You can see he's barely hooked there. Yeah. <laughs> nice, but the circle hook did his job. Sure did. Got him to the boat. Comment below if y'all like my new fish ruler. I just <laughs> bought it and put my sticker on it. And it's got this little lip here, which is awesome for bottom fishing. Cause you just never know. You want to make sure you have a fish. Ah, he would, no, he's not a keeper. I haven't pushed up on there. No, just short. All right, we're going to send him back to the bottom. He should be good to go. But I got to get him right back out. We're fishing the minor moon phase. 
getting a bite. Someone's playing with my bait. Whoa. There he is. It's a grouper. Nice. Get up here. It's a mutton. Looks like a baby. Woo. Another one that's like his twin. You're the All king right. of 18-inch muttons. Like I Palm am Beach the king of here. releasing mutton snappers You're like that are short. But that's okay. There he is. Another fish, definitely not a keeper. What kind of hook is that, Darzizzle? Using that mustad circle hook once again. Where using is it? Using a six-aught mustad circle hook in the corner of the mouth. Oh, in the fell. corner of the mouth. Oh, just nice. fell right out. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. All right. All right, here we go. Brian's going to show you the release. All right, I went over this thing the other day, guys, but just so more people see it, this is the sequelizer. We are not venting the fish by poking him in the side and getting to his air bladder. Let me turn his clicker off. So by law, he's supposed to have a venting tool because they blow up when they come up. Their air bladders expand because of the pressure. Just want to remind you, get a sequelizer and save fish. The sequelizer and all Darcy's fa favorite fishing gear at the Amazon store. Put the link down below, and this pressure uh, clip just releases the fish, and he swims down to the bottom. So check that out. Very good. You're up, Sizzle. I got him. I got the other one. Oh, oh, oh fish on, fish on. Get my bottom rod. Get my bottom rod. Get him up. Get him up. Nothing. Fish is coming up. All right, guys. We got another fish on. I just had my bottom line go off when I grabbed the top line. Our flat just went off. So I was kind of bummed because I don't know what I just lost on the bottom, but we're hooked up. Can't complain. I also got to give a big shout out to Landshark Logger in this video. And we did get our nice fancy hats that we're wearing, wearing custom hats with the Landshark logo and the Darcizzle logo on it. And unfortunately, they're not available for sale. For, so I'm sorry, guys. You cannot get one. But I'm still super happy that Landshark uh, supports us and allows us to come out here and do these awesome things as well as you guys watching. <laughs> and we're gonna get this fish up here because I'm scared something else could get to it. But he's digging straight down, he's staying down, which is making me think he's an amberjack or something very powerful, but amberjack pound for pound will whoop your butt. Oh, broke. That was weird too. Good I don't know why fish. it broke. Oh my gosh. Another 18 rough. and a half. Hard, hard, hard. Rough. He might keep. Yeah, watch him, watch him. Yeah, I got a bump. All right, well, he's going to be close, and uh, at least we're getting on some fish. I got a bump just, up, I'm about to hit somebody. Just not a ton of stuff to put in the boat. But you know what? That's fishing. Not a keeper. Going back in the water. All right. Did they just steal it? There he is. There he is. Nice. No, oh, no. Way bigger. Get him up, get him up. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sizzle. Come on. Come on. Get him up. Come on. Oh, the grouper. You better Brian, move. I'm trying, Brian. Brian, I'm trying. All right, up, baby. Get a net or get something. I got the net. Don't worry. He's moving to this side. Oh, no. You got him, baby. You got him. You got this fish. Wait a minute. Did you let him go? You let go of the half? Reel him up, reel, reel, reel. Dude, it went slack. Never stop. Let's go, let's go. That was really weird. I know. Color. Get up here. Oh, baby, you got him. Probably oh, an amberjack. Yeah. You're gonna have to handline him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah. Help me with the net. Oh, nice. I got one hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sizzle. All right, I got it. Let go. That was a crazy fight. Dude, that was really weird oh. the whole entire time. That's a monster. That is the biggest AJ I've caught this year. For sure, I mean, he's huge. That's a stud right there. And while I was fighting that fish, you know, 
we're drifting past other boats. There's only two of us today, and I know it's black calm, but it's just a lot. We can't, you know, one person's holding the camera, and I need help. It's teamwork to get that last 30 feet, 40 feet of line up. And that fish, saw the, I saw the shark, and then I saw him dive, and I saw, and it looked like he disappeared under the shark, and the line went slack again. And that's when I got real upset and, like, stomped my feet, and then picked it up again, and the fish was there. Like, he got out of the way of the shark. So. I need to not do that because I just made a big mistake. I could have lost you know, a really nice grouper or a snapper, but that is a stud AJ. And when I grabbed the line too, I got a deep, deep line cut. One of the worst I've ever had. So let's get him up and show you to the camera. Show him to the camera. That's a nice fish all day, guys. Look at that. Nice amberjack, greater amberjack. Beautiful fish, great smoker fish. That all day is a keeper. I have been wanting to make smoked amberjack fish dip and also share this with some of our neighbors and people who need this during the COVID pandemic, but that's a nice fish right there. That's a solid 20 to 30 pound fish, nice. All right, I'm putting this fish away. I'm being a little baby right now with my line cuts in my hand. I just got some really nasty ones. I get line cuts all the time, but this one is like quite deep and from a fish. Oh. All right, guys, so we're putting this guy in the, in the cooler at the fish bag, obviously, and I'm gonna be posting exactly where I caught this fish on the Fish Angler app, so please go ahead and download that. It's an awesome app for beginners and expert anglers alike, and it's totally free, and you can follow me and actually fish my spots, and I give more details there than I would in these videos or anything that you see on social media. So go ahead and check out the Fish Angler app down in the description below. All right, guys, captain's orders. We gotta cut that trip a little bit short. Uh, you might have saw those thunderstorms, you know, lightning. <laughs> Darcy wanted to fish a little bit more, I, I did too, but uh, that's the way it is here in the summer. But we're home now, and I figured I'd just give you a couple things of, if you're curious about what we do, because I know you guys don't see like how we load the boat and how we unload the boat. Yeah. And uh, first off, you know, I just rinsed off the trailer with the hose. And then Darcy, what's that stuff you spray on the reels? Oh, it's a... Uh, real cleaner or real it's rinser? Marine cleaner. Marine real, cleaner. Real marine cleaner. Real marine. Uh, it's, it's broken. Oh, the thing is all off, but uh, yeah. we can get to the contact in the description. Yeah. That's the guy who works on our reels. And uh, just spray him with that, and then we hose him off, and I hose him off the trailer. Yep. And then, you, of course, you always got to rinse your engine. Yamaha has this nice thing. And then uh, we unload the truck and, and the boat, and that's it. Yeah. No big deal. Pretty much it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It just team effort you know we gotta unload it and load it all the time but it's part of the game so yeah i mean you get it into a system it's super easy yeah. you know with the trailer and everything you know you do it 20 times and you're good yep exactly well we hope you guys enjoyed this video we cut it a little short but again we have a lot of epic videos coming out real soon yeah yeah epic i'm going i mean just that's a great point just i'm starting to interrupt we're going to the panhandle yeah then we're going to the keys yeah and then we're going somewhere someplace else yeah i don't even know i'm excited, I'm excited. where else are we going so whatever Anyways, guys, <laughs> we're going until, oyster. We're going oystering. There you go. Scalloping, scalloping. Until our next adventure, <laughs> follow your dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.